Hi everyone, welcome back to Pause to Read. Today we're reading a story from the creators of one of our previous books, Gaston, titled Antoinette, written by Kelly DiPuccio and Christian Robinson. So why don't we all get ready to pause to read. Mrs. Bulldog watched her puppies through the yard. Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette. Here they come again. Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette. Busy, aren't they? And ridiculously cute, but please don't tell them that. Mrs. Bulldog knew, as mothers do, that each of her puppies was special. Rocky was clever, outstanding. Ricky was fast, superb. Bruno was strong, impressive. And Antoinette, well, unlike her burly brothers, she still hadn't quite discovered what she was good at. Chin up, barked her mother. You have something extra special. I can feel it in my bones. Antoinette was not so sure. Every day the family went to the park to play with their doggy friends, Fifi, Fufu, Ulala, -la, and Gaston. Antoinette was fond of Fifi, Fufu, and Ulala, -la, and especially Gaston. There was much to chase after in the park. Biscuits, balls, butterflies. Oh boy, there seems to be a problem. Yip, yip, yip. A puppy is missing, Mrs. Bulldog announced. The pups gathered around. Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette followed Fifi, Fufu, and Gaston. Oh, where is Ulala? -la? Mrs. Poodle asked frantically. Mrs. Bulldog comforted her friend. We will find her, she insisted. Ricky was clever and he tracked paw prints in the mud. No ooh -la, la Rocky was fast and he raced around the lake in no time at all, but no ooh -la, la Bruno was strong and he left no stern, uh, stone unturned. Still no ooh -la, la Mrs. Poodle cried out in desperation. Whatever shall we do? In that moment, Antoinette felt a tug in her heart and a twitch in her nose. She could not, would not give up. Antoinette sit, sniffed sidewalks and street vendors and signposts. The fearless pup dodged buggies and bicycles and broomsticks. Not even a loud, hungry garbage truck could slow her down. When the parade of dogs approached the entrance to the city's museum, Antoinette began to yap loudly. Yap, yap, yap. No dogs allowed, the guard said, gruffly pointing to the sign. But Antoinette was unstoppable. She ran circles around the guard, dashed through the windows and raced down a long corridor. Antoinette burst through the crowd just in time to save ooh -la, la from a perilous fall. Would you like to see that again? Merci, merci, Mrs. Poodle said, panting happily. You found my ooh -la, la Mrs. Bulldog was beaming with pride. You were remarkably brave, she said to her daughter with a wink. Antoinette smiled. Gaston smiled too. And many years later, while Antoinette and Gaston were busy raising a family of their own, Antoinette followed her heart and her nose and became one of the most famous police dogs ever to patrol the streets of Paris. The end. Thank you again for joining us and we'll see you next week.